Joe Biden's web of international business deals with his son Hunter all pose a national security risk. It is why we call him Dangerous Joe. The Biden crime family conducted business with some of the most dangerous men on earth. Ukrainian and Russian oligarchs, even China's spy chief. All the while, Joe Biden denying any knowledge of his son's business deals. What a sham. But the Government Accountability Institute discovered a new text message from Joe Biden to Hunter. It is in reference to a longtime Biden donor and attorney. Joe writes to Hunter, he asked for you and he wants to do some work with you, love, dad. So the text may seem innocuous, right? Here's the problem. It is not. It actually is one of the clearest pieces of evidence gathered by investigators that Joe Biden is much more than some kind of a passive bystander in his son's globetrotting business pursuits. It proves Joe Biden is actually an active participant. Yet for years, Joe Biden has been running around claiming he has no knowledge of Hunter's business deals. Watch. Hunter Biden, your son's... Uh, there is no controversy about my son. It's all a lie. Friends. It's a flat lie. I don't know what he was doing. I know he was on the board. I found out he was on the board after he was on the board. And that was it. There's not one single bit of evidence, not one little tiny bit, to suggest anything done was wrong. There's not been one scintilla of evidence that my son ever interfered, that I ever asked me anything, that I ever got involved in anything. Never got involved with anything. Totally false. What is that text message? He wants to talk to you, love dad. Well, thanks to the Freedom of Information requests, Hunter's laptop, and a review of White House visitor logs, the Government Accountability Institute detailed just a few of Joe Biden's personal meetings with Hunter Biden's foreign and domestic business associates, all contrary to dangerous Joe's claims. Here we are in April 2014. Hunter's business associate and now convicted felon Devin Archer met with then Vice President Joe Biden in the White House. In spring of 2015, Hunter Biden invited a bevy of foreign oligarchs to meet with Joe Biden. The secret meeting took place at a Washington, D.C. restaurant called Cafe Milano in its ultra-private green room. I say secret, I say secret meeting, because Joe Biden left the meeting with Ukrainian and Kazakh oligarchs off of his official calendar. Didn't put it on there. In February of 2016, Hunter sent an angry email to the grandson of a former Mexican president, proving he organized more meetings with his dad, writing this. I have brought every single person you have ever asked me to bring to the effing White House and the vice president's house and the inauguration, and then you go completely silent. All of this leads me to believe that Joe Biden may be the most compromised president in American history. We now have a commander in chief that we know has directly profited from deep ties to the Chinese Communist Party and most of America seems to agree with me. Check out this new Trafalgar poll. It finds that nearly 64% of Americans think Joe Biden is, quote, likely compromised when it comes to China. China's only one of many foreign financial entanglements with our enemies. We also know that the Biden family has profited from deep ties to Ukrainian and Russian oligarchs as well. The bank records recently uncovered by Senators Grassley and Johnson prove all of it. China through Ukraine through Russia. This isn't Russian disinformation. These are hard facts backed up by bank records. The first chart here shows a bank record showing a $1 million wire transfer into the account of Hudson West 3 from CEFC. So a company that was effectively an arm of the Chinese government transferred $1 million in November 2017 to a company that Hunter Biden is managing and is invested in. That's a lot of money flying around. And there were lots of those checks. Remember, in another email, Hunter claimed he gives half of his earnings to his dad meaning the Biden family's deep financial ties with enemies of America certainly poses a grave threat. At the very least, Joe Biden's judgment could be clouded. At worst, 
He makes decisions that benefit our enemies as payback for a financial windfall. We need to get to the bottom of it. Just look at the Russian nuclear deal. While Russia invades Ukraine, upending European stability, Joe Biden wants to enter a deal with Iran, all negotiated by Russia, that will enrich Russia to the tune of billions of dollars, money that can and will be used to wage war against our allies and, God forbid, against us. It is a decision that makes zero sense unless Joe Biden is fulfilling a promise. And if that's the case, dangerous Joe becomes treasonous Joe.